juveniles were found uh, up underneath two of the deceased women that were in the bedroom. Uh, they, in, in my opinion, they were actually trying to take care of them babies and keep them babies alive. Man suspected of killing five of his neighbors. Police say this 38-year-old opened fire on a family next door when they asked him to stop firing a rifle in his front yard because their baby was trying to sleep. Now five people are dead, including an eight-year-old child. Minutes ago, the sheriff and the FBI held a news conference in that area saying the suspect may have fled from that vicinity. This uh, latest gruesome attack unfolded about 40 miles northeast of Houston and CNN's Ryan Young is following all the latest developments for us. He joins us live. Uh, Ryan, the sheriff of the FBI, they just wrapped up a, a news conference a few moments ago. What did we learn? Yeah, Jim, this has been troubling all day long as we've been following the developments. And, of course, we'll put that face up one more time because they're looking for Francisco Orpeza. But what we're learning from the Sheriff's Department and the FBI right now, they seem like they were tracking a device which we believe was a cell phone. And at some point, they were getting pings from that cell phone. They've now located the device, but they have not located this man. Let's all remember that this man apparently was asked to stop shooting his gun in the front yard, then eventually went next door, according to the Sheriff's Department, and opened fire on this family that was inside this home killing five people including an eight-year-old and as we look at the ages that have just been released along with some of the names here we see a 25 year old a 21 year old a 31 year old an 18 year old and an 18 and an eight-year-old all shot during this shooting this is something that is shaking that community listen to the fbi talk about what they consider this man to be right now we consider him armed and dangerous and we're not going to stop until he, we actually arrest him and put, bring him into custody. But he is out there, and he's a threat to the community. So I don't want anyone to think that, that that's something different than that. He is a threat to the community, and we need the community's help to um, hopefully locate him soon and take him off the streets tonight. Jim, yeah, you see the sheriff, Greg Caper, sitting right next to the FBI agent there as they were talking. It also appears that he may have changed his clothing at some point as well. So they're not sure right now. They're not saying whether or not he was communicating with someone. They believe he's still on foot. Of course, that's why that picture that we're putting up is so important, because the more eyes on that picture, which they weren't sharing early on the day, maybe the more phone calls they can get into their centers that they have set up to increase this manhunt. So we now know they have a device, electronic device, that they were tracking at some point that's no longer with this man. And you have those five people who were killed inside this home. On top of that, Jim, there were two other children in that home that two of the dead women's bodies were on top of because it appears they were shielding those kids from the bullets. They were all shot execution style, which just seems so sickening um, when you think about all that has taken place. Man, we back with another crazy story out of Texas about this man outside his house shooting an AR-15 in the air, you know, supposedly this is what he been doing, you know what I'm saying, he been doing this, he been shooting out in the yard, in the front yard, but what I was trying to figure out is how cool he was just going out nonchalant shooting in his yard, and his neighbors knew he was shooting in his yard every day, so they already knew. This particular day, he was shooting. They came over there as a good citizen neighbor and asked him, could he be quiet? Could he keep it down? Could he stop shooting? You know what I'm saying? They didn't call the police. You know, other people in the neighborhood would have called them folks on you. You out there shooting up in the ass, kids around the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? You don't want your ass to jail. You know, it don't matter if it's a rural county. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter about that. You got kids next door. You got kids in your neighborhood. Them bullets can go anywhere. So when they asked Buddy to, could he stop shooting for the baby to, to stay asleep? You know what I'm saying? Buddy said he can do whatever the hell he wants to in his yard on his property. Allegedly went back inside after they told him and reloaded up again. Come back outside and went over next door to their house. Went inside their house and started shooting. That's the crazy, senseless crime about the whole situation. He didn't care nothing about who he shot. Kids, mama, daddy, uncle, aunties, babies. He didn't even care. You know, this type of crimes like this here, we got to get these crazy folks off, off the street, man. You know what I'm saying? He on the run right now. He could be trying to kill other people. You know what I'm saying? Just to get away from the crime that he not already done. You know, he finished, though. You know, they need to kill him on sight.
you know, you shooting and killing kids and, and innocent mothers and all this shit like this here. Come on now, man. This don't make no sense. But like I say, we in our last days. I'm going to continue to say this because of crimes like this. You know, you ask somebody could they be quiet, they flip the script. Don't try to put it on alcohol and drugs and all of that. He knew to run after he killed these people. So you can't be too much off balance. You knew to take off running after you didn't kill these folks. You knew what you was doing. See what I'm saying? This don't make no sense. We continue to see people doing brazen crimes, killing kids, killing family members with no conscience, man. You know, this don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? What they say, we, what, 170-something mass shootings this year? And we ain't even made it to May yet? Come on now, man. This is crazy. What I told you when our last days as we keep moving forward in these years, it's crime only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. We looking at all these crimes right now with the innocent people dying, getting shot, gunned down. You know, different stuff like this here. It's crazy. But unfortunately, we're going to continue to see stuff like this here. Even if the government take the guns off the, off the streets. You will never get all the way down to taking all the guns off the streets. It's impossible. You know, it, they in guns are in all type of people's hands. Criminals. You know what I'm saying? Convicted murderers. Child predators. It's guns everywhere. Kids, 11, 12, 13 year old. They running around with guns now. You know what I'm saying? Big sticks with the stendo, with the box on that thing. And like I said, man, it's, it's crazy. And guns going to continue to be the problem. It's going to be the death of, you know, humankind. Because it's so easy to kill somebody with a bullet. Whether it's for you or it ain't. But like I said, it's just another crazy, senseless crime, man. Prayers goes out to all the family members that passed away. You know what I'm saying? And justice will be served. But this don't make no sense. You ask somebody to, you know, be quiet and calm down, you you would think that, you know, they will understand that a baby, newborn baby, trying to get some sleep. You know what I'm saying? And you out there busting the AR-15 automatic. You know, that's a lot of noise. And bro just snapped. You know, he went crazy, but I think it was already something that he had with the next door neighbors. Ain't nobody going to snap like that because you done had a couple beers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some alcohol, tequila, whatever he was drinking. You ain't finna snap like that, man. You know what I'm saying? He already had issues. You out in the yard shooting a gun, you already mad. What's the issue? Why you outside shooting your gun in, in the air anyway? Why is you even doing that? You ain't got a target. You just out shooting in your yard. The neighbor said that's something that he always did anyway. So they didn't think it was going to be no issue. You know, like any other normal day, man, calm down. Or he had a stop time, you know, when he shoot. You know what I'm saying? But this day here, he wanted to be reckless with it. And they asked him, you know, keep the noise down. He smashed out, man. He flipped and killed up everybody in the house, executioner style. You know what I'm saying? With some kids that survived, but he killed their mama. And he was aiming to kill. They said from the neck up. He was aiming to kill, man. Killed the 18-year-old boy, 21-year-old, they mama. You know what I'm saying? Different stuff like that. That's crazy, man. You the next door neighbor. Come on, you know they coming after your ass. And like I said, man, let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. A whole family killed. Five people killed in Texas by this crazy dude, neighbor, who went crazy, man. And they still don't understand what was the motive to the crime. That he just went and, you know, killed everybody next door to him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just another crazy situation, man. And we in our last days and we're going to continue to hear stuff like this here and see. It's only going to get worse, like I keep saying. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. We out. The sheriff also said everyone killed, including the eight-year-old child, was shot from the neck up, quote, almost execution style. Capers added the victims are a family from Honduras. He said the suspect, the next-door neighbor of the victims, was apparently shooting a rifle in his yard and was asked to stop.
the victims, uh, they came over to the fence, said, hey, could, do you mind not shooting uh, out in, in the yard? We have a young baby that, that's um, trying to go to sleep, and uh, he had been drinking, and he said, I'll do what I want to in my front yard. Capers said the gunman then opened fire. He's been identified as 38-year-old Francisco Oropesa, a Mexican national. His alleged rampage is now part of at least 174 mass shootings so far this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive, which defines a mass shooting as four or more people shot, not including the gunman.